Today, I want to share with you why we chose to homeschool, a little bit of background about us and how it's going. So join me today to get to know us a little bit better. And if you've been thinking about homeschooling, then hopefully this video will be helpful to you as well and be an encouragement to you. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I have four kids. They are two, four, six, and eight. This video is part of a collaboration with Kristen over at My Cathedral Garden. She is an awesome mama. She has a channel full of videos about homeschooling and curriculum and mom life and day in the life type of videos. So definitely go check out her channel after this. And after this video, check out the link in the description box below to the playlist that's full of a bunch of homeschool moms homeschooling stories, their why for why they homeschool. And hopefully that'll be an encouragement to you as well and a chance to hear a lot of different perspectives. Today, let me give you a little bit of background on me. So I grew up in a Christian family. Kindergarten through second grade, my mom was homeschooling us. Third through sixth grade, I went to public school. And then she ended up teaching at a Christian school that our church was hosting. And so I did the Christian school from seventh grade up through 12th grade and graduated from there. So I feel like I've kind of done it all in a sense. Um, and then I went to college. My first two years were at a community college and then the last two at a university. Got my bachelor's degree in business and majored in marketing. So that's a little bit about my background. When my husband and I got married, we were having some of those conversations, you know, what do we want to do with our kids when they're ready for school? Do we want to homeschool, Christian school, public school? You know, all those kinds of discussions, which I'm sure you've had as well. And if you're watching this video and you're currently in the midst of those kinds of conversations and trying to decide what's best for your family, then maybe you can resonate with some of our reasons and they can be helpful to you. One big reason we wanted to homeschool them instead of public school or even Christian school is we wanted to have the flexibility to go at our children's own learning pace and to be able to follow their passions. So if they got really interested in a particular topic, we could put a pause on our curriculum and really research these things. And then also just for the sake of doing what was best for their learning style, obviously in a classroom of 20 kids, they're all being taught the same way. And I was really intrigued by the idea of being able to kind of figure out how my kids learned best and to follow those things and do what was best for them. And that way, if they struggled in a certain area, you know, they wouldn't get left behind or feel inadequate compared to the rest of the class because there is no rest of the class. Um, and we could we could slow down in that particular subject and, and work on that area until they mastered it and then we could move on. Or if they were really excelling in a certain subject, then they could fly through it. They could go even faster through it. So it's just really cool to be able to go at your child's pace and speed and give them that individualized attention. Obviously now <laughs> I have four kids. So the whole idea of individualized attention is a little bit different than I initially imagined it to be. Um, it's not quite as beautiful and wonderful. It's pretty chaotic at times, <laughs> but I definitely still have the opportunity to work with each one individually. Four is not that many compared to 20, which would be in a normal classroom size. So it's totally manageable. I just have to keep telling myself that day after day so that I don't pull my hair out. But that's a really cool thing to be able to do. Another awesome thing about homeschooling is the flexibility to do school whenever you want. So we can make our own schedule. We can sleep in when we want. We can take a day off when we want. We can make up for that day off whenever it fits into our schedule. We like to travel, so it's nice to be able to do that at random times throughout the year. And it's really nice to be able to travel when it's not super busy. You know, it's not like we have to go on spring break and do those things when everybody else is doing it and the prices are higher and it's busier in those places we get to kind of take advantage of the off season times, which is pretty cool. And my husband works most Saturdays, so it is nice if we wanna swap out a weekday for Saturday, you know, we could do school on Saturday and we could have a family day on a random weekday. So it just gives us some nice flexibility with our scheduling. And then another thing that was really important to us when we were discussing what we wanted our family life to look like is we really wanted to be in control of what they were being taught 
right? As a Christian, the public school system, their curriculum and some political things that are being pushed into the school systems now uh, really just doesn't align with our family's values and beliefs. And so it was really important to us to be able to have that control over what they're being taught what lens it's being taught through, what perspective, that we would be the ones to form their worldview instead of giving that over to someone else who maybe doesn't share our values or our beliefs. I never wanted to be a teacher. I did not go to school to be a teacher. And I used to be really terrified of homeschooling actually until I started to get my feet wet into it and realized that the curriculum really does the heavy lifting for us. So it's not as hard as I thought. I mean, there's definitely sacrifices that we've had to make. And of course, we have bad days where the kids are in bad moods and we're having to deal with their attitudes and work on them and times when the little ones are being crazy, so it's hard to do school. Those kinds of sacrifices are having to be made. But at the end of the day, I'm so glad that I'm not having to undo what they've been taught somewhere else or rewire the way they've been taught to think certain ways. So for those reasons, I'm really passionate about homeschooling and Christian schools and private schools and co-ops, if you've heard of those. You know, it's just basically where homeschool families get together and learn together. They might have a certain teacher for certain subjects, and then the kids are able to have classmates and peers. So we love all those things. And right now, for the other reasons that I said, like the flexibility, homeschooling is really what's best for our family. But in the future, we may decide to do something like a co-op or a private Christian school. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for right now, homeschooling is really what works best with our lifestyle and allows us to teach our kids our value system without being kind of up against some things that are hostile towards those beliefs. And then another big thing we had talked about a lot about how we see ourselves raising our kids. And as much as I love to have breaks from the kids and would like more breaks in the day sometimes from the chaos, I see the extreme value that there is with us being together as much as we are. For instance, if they were away at school and they were mean to somebody and the teacher didn't see, they're not gonna come home and tattle on themselves. And so I've missed this teaching opportunity to explain to them why we don't act that way or don't treat people that way because it hurts their feelings or talk to them about why they were behaving that way and miss this opportunity to help build up their character. On the flip side of that, if somebody's being mean to them at school, I would hate to subject them to that day in and day out, five days a week, 37 weeks out of the year. Oh, that'll do a number on your self-esteem. I'm really glad to have them at home in a safe environment where I can protect them from constant negativity. Obviously, they have friends and they you know, might get in a squabble here and there, but I'm around, I'm nearby to help, help them deal with that. But being away at school 30 hours a week, their peers and the school system in general are gonna have a very heavy influence on them. And I don't expect all their peers or the school system to align with our value system, and I know it doesn't. And so for us, we have so much peace knowing that they're able to learn and grow their character in a safe environment and that we know what influences are coming into their life so we can help them work through those and deal with those things. So now to how it's going. So I have a third grader, a first grader, a four-year-old that's in pre-K, and then a two-year-old who's just a master of distraction and is kind of all over the place. Sometimes he will sit down and listen to the preschoolers lesson, which is great. And sometimes he'll even participate. So that's good. I feel like he's learning a little bit here and there. And sometimes I set him up with a show on my phone and sit him to the side so that we can all focus and quiet. <laughs> But I have to say, it's it's going well. And this is coming from someone who does not claim to be a great teacher. This year, for the majority of our subjects, we're using a curriculum that's video-based. So I'm not really having to teach anything. My third grader has finally this year decided that he likes to read and does well with it. He's excellent in math, really, really great in math. He's actually ahead this year. Now his handwriting really needs some help. So if you have suggestions for handwriting curriculum, send them my way. My first grader has been even easier to teach than my first child. Thankfully, she has really taken to reading. She's done well with math. And when she has downtime, when she's waiting for me to come help her while I'm working with one of her brothers, she loves to craft. So she's able to sit there and, you know, in our schoolroom, she can pull out all kinds of crafty stuff and just create. So that's pretty cool too. 
And then my four-year-old, I will say, I definitely don't do as much school with him as I did with my oldest child at his age. And I'm kind of learning to peel back some of those expectations that I had, you know, because I went to public school and a Christian school. I've come to the realization that it really doesn't take that long to teach a child when it's just one that you're working with. So honestly, our lessons take very little time. And because it's this focused one-on-one -on -one time, it's actually really efficient. So I feel like he's still getting a great education, even though I'm only working with him a little bit at the time. And of course he is hearing some of the things that are being taught to his older brother and sister because he's in the room with us. So who knows what else is kind of sinking in. Sometimes he repeats addition problems, which we have not started working on yet, but it's because he's heard his sister go over them. So it is kind of fun to see all the ages together in that way and how they kind of feed off each other. Of course, there are days where they're feeding off each other in a negative way and they are squabbling. And those are days you just want to like pull your hair out. But <laughs> that's part of motherhood regardless, right? Sibling rivalries. So I really feel like it's going well. It doesn't take up my whole life to try to prep for homeschool or teach them. We usually get it done by lunchtime every day, unless my oldest is having a bad attitude and drags his feet. Then those are the days when it takes longer. But most of the time he does well staying on track. So, so if you've been thinking about homeschooling and you're on the fence still, I would just recommend going to God with your concerns. If it's confidence that you lack, pray for that confidence from God and he'll give that to you. The homeschooling community is so different from when I was growing up. So many more families are choosing to homeschool and that means there are so many more resources available to you. Um, YouTube videos, obviously, blogs, and so many more curriculums have come out throughout the years to cater to different families' needs different learning styles. So don't let that nagging doubt in your head keep you from taking the plunge if you think it's what's best for your family. Because none of us are in this alone. We can all rely on each other and get help from each other. So that is my why for homeschooling our children. I hope that this video was encouraging to you today. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button below and hit the little bell as well. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I hope you can join me here every week. I love to talk about homeschooling and curriculum reviews and also just general things about mom life and traveling with kids. So if that interests you, then I'd love to have you join me here every week. And if you know someone who's thinking about homeschooling and you think this video would be helpful and encouraging to them, please share it with them and hit that like button below and comment below and say hi and let me know if you have any questions or what your reasons are for homeschooling. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, happy schooling.